Hey guys, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, and today I'm gonna draw a dog. A dog. We're gonna draw a dog. Um, this is gonna be a little bit interesting because there are two problems with this. I can't draw dogs, and I'm very terrible at animating anything with more than two legs. The last time I checked, dogs fit that category. So this is gonna be a fun and interesting video. Let's see how it goes. A dog. We're gonna draw a dog. Um, but first we're gonna set up the overhead camera so that you can actually watch me draw. So, um, the magic of making movies. Let's see how the sketching goes, shall we? All right, so from memory, um, a dog, right. Well, we all know how dogs look, um, except if you wanna draw something, even though you know how it looks, it's not always the same uh, how it's gonna be on paper. So let's just start with the nose. I always sketch these things pretty roughly and pretty quickly. Um, we got these little ears. And I know the dog I want is uh, the bulldog type. So I know it has a short body. Although yeah, this is not gonna be a very nice dog. Give him some cartoony eyes. Um, he always has a collar. These dogs always have, for some weird reason, this like big collar. And then he has uh, front paws, which are usually in a stance of power, widespread. And then I guess these legs are something like that as well. I'm not really sure if this is the best starting point to create our images. Um, we're gonna Google for the bulldog. I think that's best. I think this is, yeah, this needs a lot of work and I want to have the best example before I start pixelating anything. So Google it. Let's see. Bull dog, right? This is a kind of dog, but I want more cartoony. So let's make it a cartoon bulldog. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, oh, I like this one. Very nice. Um, too cute. This is, yeah, he has these cheeks. I didn't draw these cheeks. Um, all right. With these images, I think we can get pretty far. So I'm gonna put this over here. And then we're gonna draw the second bulldog. All right, so um, it obviously is as these little cheek thingies that we need. And then it has his nose up here. And now, um, normally when I sketch these things, they obviously have more detail than is gonna be in my pixel art because the size of the pixel art is just not gonna allow me to add all these details, but it's okay to at least uh, draw these details in now so that I can grab as many and as much information when I'm actually doing. And then I need to have like a body like this, very tiny tail and uh, the front paws are gonna be a little bit of a problem, but we're just gonna Wing it a little bit. Um, all right, so I think we have our better version of our dog. Bad dog. Good dog. All right, so this is the image we're gonna work with. Uh, it's a very grayish dog, it's, that works out pretty well. So. Um, that's the sketch. Next step is turning the sketch into pixels. Um, again, it has to fit in like 16 by 16 pixels, which is very tiny. I might stretch it a little bit horizontally. Um, anything bigger would look very silly compared to the enemy characters or the soldiers, the enemies, the, 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 the figures running around. The dog needs to be a little bit smaller. It 
it can be about the same size just one or two pixels smaller um, we're gonna see how it works out we're just gonna draw it on pixels and see where we end up and then we'll have to animate it oh boy um, let's just do it first I'm gonna draw the face or his head and um, I'm basically drawing the outlines of the dog first because the coloring and the inside that's what we're gonna do later and it's not very important I first want to see if I can make if I can make it the outline work within the area we have while I'm drawing I'm also looking at that little uh, example at the top of the page or up the top of the screen which is a be much better view than just looking at the pixels because sometimes all these pixels can get really uh, messy when you're just looking at the pixels so I also look at the preview up top I'm, I'm not unhappy with this actually I think um, yeah I think we have our bulldog um, all right so the next step is gonna be the difficult one this dog needs to run and be animated and uh, I did this once before uh, for Ashworld so I think I'm gonna grab those images just as a reference um, as you can see it was even tinier than what we have now but it has this uh, animation loop and let's just get rid of this junk so that dog has the animation loop which I can reuse and repurpose for this dog or at least I hope so so animating stuff is always a bit messy as I'm uh, basically tearing the sprite into different corners and moving stuff around and then adding little pixels left and right to glue it back together again keep in mind what you're doing and really keep a clear head because um, before you know it there are pixels floating everywhere and there is no character anymore there are probably better ways to do this or other ways to do it uh, but this works for me so this is really what I'm used to so part of animating these things is really just um, a lot of guesswork a lot of um, trying to visualize how things should look and how things should move it's really a lot of experience and practice that comes with this and then it's still a lot of trying and um, attempts and a lot of failing usually although this video might just not be a right example for that because I think this is going pretty well for a uh, first try All right, wow, I wasn't expecting this to go this well. Um, it actually just worked out like a pretty good dog. The next step is gonna be adding it to the game. So um, let's continue the video. We have an animated and a drawn pixelated dog. Right now it just needs the code to have it running around in my game. It's a little bit bigger than I originally wanted, but it's also a lot better than I originally expected because as mentioned at the start of the video, um, drawing dogs is not really my thing and animating anything with more than two legs is difficult and um, I'm very surprised it actually worked out all right so a lot of the stuff I do when adding something new to the game is um, start with copy and pasting existing code mostly because that code has already been written it's tested it runs in the current game um, so why rewrite it if you can just reuse it also things like animation and movements and being blocked by walls and things like that 
if you only write it once and reuse it for enemies it means you only need to fix it once if there's ever a bug in there fixing it for all enemies so um, rewriting and repurposing stuff is usually the best way to go about it or at least i like it because it allows me to quickly have stuff up and running in the game so the first thing i'm checking is make sure that the animation is there because i haven't really seen it animated yet and it looks pretty good um, it just now needs to actually move so not just have the animation of running around, but also actually have the movement. Which will require a little bit of testing because it's gonna be difficult to actually get the right speed for the right movement. Sometimes you can have a dog running and then the movement is very slow and it, it just doesn't feel right. You can also have the dog running and the movement is too fast and it also doesn't feel right. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So having this base up and running is um, the most important thing because I just want this dog to be there animated, run around from left to right and then we can build on that with some more intelligence for the enemy. So it's going to be chasing you, it's going to be um, sniffing you out when you're hiding in a crate or in a box. And maybe it will also jump on ledges or maybe just sit or lie down or play dead or I'm, I'm not sure yet but having the base intelligence up and running without bugs means we won't have to fix bugs later on because building on top of existing bugs is just very messy and gonna make a lot more bugs but we do have a walking dog right now which is uh, pretty cool i think i'm gonna animate it a little bit more but yeah i like how it's running around right now All right, and that's a dog in the game. Um, I'm very happy with how this turned out. It did save me a lot of time being able to reuse the animation frames I came up with for the dog in Ashworld, even though it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one copy, but just knowing how to position those legs and make it look like it's running, it saved a lot of time figuring out those things. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This also opens a lot of new possibilities for the game, just having this small new character First thing is that I'm probably gonna make a bigger version of the dog, which is uh, really copying the same dog and then just redrawing it, but bigger and then animating that all over again. Um, it would add a nice fun end boss to the game. One of the many, there should be 15 by the time I'm done with the game. So there's a lot of bosses needed. And another option is having a hell dog, uh, flames out of his back, maybe more a skull for his head, something along those lines. That should be pretty good. That adds another dog or another enemy to the game. Uh, of course, we can now add items to the game that help you survive these dog encounters. So things like cookies or meat. Drop some meat and the dog will be distracted by the meat. Or uh, maybe give it cookies and it will be your friend for a certain time period. And then it will attack enemies instead of you. A lot of ideas coming into my head. Maybe add a little saddle-like thing that you can ride the dog. Which could also be a pretty cool thing. So uh, yeah, we're gonna work and figure out a lot of stuff. Um, let me know if you have ideas by seeing the dog in the game. If, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think about the dog. Do you think it's a dog? I think it's a dog, but let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget the, the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hey, um, it's not, it's still see you next week. It's not next week already. But uh, just in case you wanted to try out the game and see the dog in action it's available for patrons and the link to patreon is in the description below if you want to check out the game almost weekly i'm pushing out a new update so it's interesting if you like those things so check it out and uh, see you next week like this uh,